everyone. I am here today to go ahead and review um, Progeny Press's My Side of the Mountain Study Guide. Uh, this is actually a really great study guide. It embodies all kinds of different things, including math. Um, it gives you field trip and activity ideas. So if you like an overall um, unit study type of learning for your children for homeschool, then I would definitely suggest this. Um, I do want to mention that I received a free copy of this product through the Homeschool Review Crew in exchange for my honest review. I was not required to write a positive review, nor was I compensated in any other way. All opinions I've expressed my own or those of my family, and I'm disclosing this in accordance with FTC regulations. <coughs> Again, I am reviewing the Progeny Press, My Side of the Mountain Study Guide. If you want to check them out, you can go to um, stores.progenypress.com to see all of their other study guides. So this one is based on learning from the book by Jean Craighead George. So this is actually for grades five through eight. <coughs> What I really love about this study guide, I'm just going to show you just a little bit of it, just because obvious copyright reasons. Um, I want to go ahead and show you what I really love. Um, they have pre-reading activities in here, like uh, field trip ideas, um, like a fishing field trip, and I can actually show you a picture of um, us with that. Here's our little girl Mary, and here's her lovely fish that she has caught. <laughs> so she loves field trips. Um, but they also have different things like research local plants um, and then different things that are throughout each chapter. So one of the things that I really enjoyed about this program is you can either have this printed out or you can actually type things right in to your computer. <coughs> So in any of this, where you can see my cursor, um, you can actually type whatever you need right in here so that you can also save on ink and printing and paper if you need to. So that is a big plus to me. Um, a lot of times we actually do end up doing it like this. Uh, with this, um, a binder just kind of worked better for us. Um, but I just wanted to let you see that the option was there. So basically when you go through the study guide, you have each section and it shows what chapters um, these sections are going to uh, go through. So for section one, you have these first three chapters. And I'm just gonna show you just this first uh, section right here. So you have the questions and then you saw up here you have the vocab, which is really neat. And then you have thinking about the story, you get into grammar, um, anthropomorphism, um, which is uh, like a non-living object giving a human quality. Um, it can also be uh, like an animal having a human quality, like, uh, let's see, Animal Crossing on Nintendo Switch where the animals are walking on two legs, they wear clothing, and they talk to you. So it's, that's also an example of anthropomorphism. Um, so that's actually kind of neat. And then you have Dig Deeper, where you get into the Bible. And then you have optional projects like creative writing, safety discussions, letter writing, and then math. So it embodies a lot of different subjects right here in this one study guide, which is amazing to me. And this is how I actually like to teach Mary. Um, again, Mary's going to be in seventh grade, so this is actually uh, the perfect subject for her. Um, another part of the program uh, was a suggestion for uh, going and eating strawberries, because the story is basically about this little boy um, and he's got so many people living in his family's apartment that he decides at 11 years old that he's just going to move on out and he's going to just leave. So he decides to live off the wild, um, trying to get down um, <clears throat> to um, 
anywhere that's country and get out of New York City. So here's a quick synopsis of it. Um, and he kind of turns into a wild boy in that sense. Um, and then eventually he has to decide if he's going to stay away from people or whether people and family are also important to have in his life. So he's trying to get away from them at first, but then he's got to make a decision. Um, it takes place in the Catskill Mountains, which uh, is in New York. So he's going out towards where I actually used to live. Um, I used to live in Orange County. So something that he learns to do is to forage um, and live off the land. So I wanted to show you this quick little picture of um, our daughter Mary. We actually grow our own blackberries, um, strawberries, and we have grapes, and we have a pear tree, and then uh, we grow basil, and we have cucumbers, and of course my husband has cayenne peppers. So we try to grow a lot of our own uh, fruits and veggies too. So this was her proud picture of the first blackberry of the season. And then this is me and my daughter, and uh, this was our first strawberry of the season. So a lot of times we will actually just go outside and just eat them right off the bush um, or right off the vines when we're outside. So that's actually kind of neat. Um, it teaches you to forage and to grow your own food. And no, I am not a class of 2014. This was just a random shirt that I had. If I was actually class of 2014, there's no way that I would have a 12-year-old daughter who is pretty much the same height as me. <laughs> so again, I really liked um, this unit study, this study guide. If you guys want to check them out a little bit more too, I would implore you to go over to schoolhousereviewcrew.com and right here I already have them up. This is their review of all the study guides that we were actually go, able to go through. Um, this one, a new coat for Anna study guide for grades K through 3. Um, and the year of the boar and Jackie Robinson is for grades 4 through 6. My side of the mountain is grades 5 through 8. Uh, an animal farm is grades 9 through 12, and then little women uh, grades 8 through 12. And then if you go all the way down to the bottom, you'll see read the crew reviews, and you're going to actually be able to see all of where we have linked up. So if you're interested in maybe two or three of these, then you can actually um, check out by the pictures, too, who is reviewing what, and you can check out. Now, some of these, most of them are actually going to be blog posts. I was um, able to do a video review um, so that I could just show you a little bit of how to use the study guide. Um, but I wanted to just go ahead and show you that you guys can check them out right here too. So again, if you, and then this is their main page, uh, stores.progenypress.com, and they have study guides for literature from a Christian perspective. So they have all kinds of different study guides that you can actually look for. So um, I really was impressed. I just wanted to go back to this study guide really quickly. Um, how you can actually use this. You can use this as a full on um, unit study like we did. Um, you can use it once a day. Um, that's usually how I prefer with unit studies um, to do it once a day until you finish. And with that, you should be able to finish uh, within two weeks. Um, if you do it just once a week, then it will take you, um, you know, a few months to be able to finish this. But I said I just did it every day. Um, that's just personally my own uh, preference for being able to do unit studies. Um, now, of course, uh, you would need my Side of the Mountain book to go along with this. And then all of the activities that are within the pages of the study guide are optional. You don't have to do this kind of stuff, but it is fun like to do camping or go fishing or anything like that um, and to do the extra research. So again, this was, I'm going to pull back up to the top. My Side of the Mountain um, is by Progeny Press and it's their study guide by Carol Clark. And I really, really enjoyed it and my family did too. And I hope you guys go ahead and check them out online.